Hello again, it's John Lawson, and I'm back in my studio for some more testing. This week, it's the turn of Cobra and their new dark speed drivers. So let's get started. But as always, before we look at the results, I'd just like to show you some of the specifications I got while I was measuring these drivers. So here are the specifications for these three drivers. Uh, pretty much the same weight actually all around sort of 192.4 for the X, 93 for the Max and 94 for the LS. All, all the drivers I played were 10 and a half degrees written on the head and when I actually measured them on, on gears again you can see there's some slight differences, actually some big differences. On the X down to 9.1 degrees on the max, pretty much the same as, as the stated loft at 10.3, and the LS was down to 9.5. So that's, that's going to be explaining why some of these are going to be going off a little bit faster uh, with less spin. The swing weights are around D2, D2.7 for the X, D2.1 for the max, and exactly D2 for the LS. Still using the TPT Nitro 18 high shaft, the 51 gram shaft for all of these tests. And the length was 45.75 with these heads, just the shape of the heads actually changing the length of the shaft. So here are the results of this test with the new Cobra drivers, the dark speed. So straight off the bat with the X driver, pretty good ball speed, a good good launch, good spin and pretty good distance as well. So everything very sort of standard here. I'm swinging at around about 100 miles an hour, so not so bad as far as uh, ball speed is concerned. And as you can see, there's very, very little dispersion here as well. So. That's, I'd say that just really just a very good driver, very stable, uh, good ball speed a, a, across the line. We move on to the max. I could not hit this driver. I actually couldn't set up to it. So sort of sitting uh, at address, it looked as though it was aiming way left for me. So I sort of struggled actually putting, uh, getting in front of the ball with it. So I ended up having the hands way in front. Anyway, that said, I could not get it going uh, for me at all. So ball speed came down, uh, launch went up, spin went up, and as you can see the distance was way shorter and pretty much left as well. So this drive has definitely been made for people who, uh, who slice, um, but I, I couldn't, couldn't get it to work anyway. Not, not one for me, this one. Now moving on to the LS, and this, as you, if you've been following along for the other videos, this seems to be the trend for me. More ball speed, um, good launch angle, less spin, and more distance yet again. Slightly more dispersion than with the with the X version, but uh, very good results as well. So I think uh, this is going to be uh, another driver that could be very interesting for me going down the line. Looking forward to testing this against the other ones. So to summarize, on the whole, I quite enjoyed playing with these, these dark speed drivers. Definitely the X version and the LS. Felt as though I could gen definitely generate more speed with these as well. So I'm looking forward to testing these against the other drivers which have come out this year and maybe some of the ones from last year as well. So I'm looking forward to that. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below, and I hope to see you soon for some more videos.